welcome once again to Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady. I'm Miley Cyrus and tonight's mask on Creepy Cheapies is uh, an entry from the folks at Trick or Treat Studios and it's called Gluten Freak. That's right, Gluten Freak. Now the Gluten Freak here was designed by something named Eric Pigors of Toxic Tunes and sculpted by something named Aaron Lewis. And as you can see, it's a really weird one. It's kind of silly. It doesn't make a lot of uh, literal sense in terms of, of what it is. But it's great quality. It's beautifully sculpted. And as is uh, usually the case with Trick or Treat Studios products, the quality is good. And the, let's see if you can see the back here. The quality is good. The size is good. The overall craftsmanship is really good and makes this a cool mask uh, for something in the $50 to $60 price range. Now, uh, uh, you know, folks, one of the sad uh, facts of the creative world is that some people think it's all about them. You know, they think they think because they've they've had a few creative experiences that they just they just own everything and they think everybody who has a similar idea must have copied it from them. Um, and, and you know, uh, there's only so many different ways a face can be changed, a human face can be altered to uh, create a design for a Halloween mask. There's only so many things. So, you know, when somebody says, oh, so-and-so stole my idea, you know, it's entirely possible that two people have the same idea miles apart and, you know, there was no connection there. I don't know why people always think someone stole their idea when every time somebody comes up with something similar and and oh those guys at Trick or Treat Studios that's how they are they somehow got the impression that this mask right here was a copy of their mask this one and I don't know why because well here it is and you can see now now this is not a gluten freak this this would be a pumpkin man Okay, and I have here the tag that came with it, and it says, One Size Fit All. One Size Fit All Special Edition. And this was made in China, huge surprise there, for a company apparently called Bristol Novelty in the UK. And I was not aware of Bristol Novelty, but uh, this came out, um, well, right around the time this one came out. <clears throat> Uh, which was the 2012-2013 uh, 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 period of Earth history. And, uh, well, they were both out in time for Halloween 2013, let's, let's say that. It says here, adult carnival item. And again, somehow the guys at Trick or Treat have the idea, I don't see that much resemblance to you, no. But somehow the guys at Trick or Treat have the idea that just because this mask from China happens to look like a guy with green skin and and kind of a fat lumpy uh, bloated looking uh, uh, head and and uh, well just because it has a piece of um, uh, tattered orange burlap on the front of the face uh, ending at the uh, upper jaw and, and having stitches on top holding it to the head and just because the teeth happen to be made of seven pieces of candy corn and just because those pieces are pretty much identically positioned and just because the orange burlap happens to have three black triangles painted on it in the style of classic Halloween jack-o'-lanterns and just because uh, the character's uh, chin and bottom lip are similarly lumpy and actually the chin is sort of uh, drooping toward the mask's right just because of those few few minor similarities somehow the guys at Trick or Treat got the idea that their mask had been uh, somehow copied. I, I, don't, I don't see it, do you? I mean, I mean, this one has a stem. A stem. So, does this one have a stem? No, no stem. So, clearly, uh, it's just coincidence because, you know, if this one had a stem, yeah, then maybe, maybe we talk. Maybe I'd think about, hmm, could there be a relationship here? Possibly. But since this one doesn't have a stem, and this one does, obviously, this is a wholly and entirely original concept. Um, that said, I still recommend you buy this one. 